Hello and welcome back. Um, in, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your own brushes in uh, Adobe Illustrator. Um, if you don't know, there's uh, lots and lots of free brushes out there. Just do a Google search for free Adobe brushes, free Adobe Illustrator brushes, free vector brushes, free Photoshop brushes, and you'll get great Photoshop brushes. And You can use this uh, technique in Photoshop as well, um, for the most part. It's a little different, but for the most part it still works. Um, Anyway, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up our uh, brushes palette because I'm going to show you how to make your own brushes. Um, that's what this tutorial is. So go up to Window, go down to Brushes, and there you have it. There's your brush palette. You can uh, then, let's just draw a quick line with your pen tool or with your um, pencil tool. Looks like I have this weird orange color selected. And that's fine. Uh, it can be a different color. We'll just make this squiggly line. I like to use the pen tool because it's more precise. If you want, actually, let's go ahead and make one with your pencil tool as well. It's a little less precise, and you'll see the difference. Okay, so we have one with our pen tool and one with our pencil tool. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a brush. I'm going to grab my pen tool once again. And uh, if you saw my day tutorial on how to make flourishes in uh, Illustrator, I'm going to show you how to make this brush. We did it in that tutorial, but this is uh, just in case you didn't see that tutorial. This is uh, how you do that. We'll make a triangle with our pen tool. And remember that this brush is going to correspond with this triangle. So the thickest part of the triangle is going to be the thickest part of your line. And the thinnest part is going to be the thinnest part of your line somewhere. So I don't want it to be very thick in any place, so I made it kind of small. And what we'll do is we'll just drag this into our brushes palette. It'll ask us select a new brush type. I'm going to select Art Brush. Please play around with the different types of, types of brushes, Pattern Brush, Scatter Brush. They, they do different things and they're both, you know, very cool and usable. <clears throat> but this is the one I'm going to show you. And then I'm just going to leave the settings the way they are. Once again, mess around with these settings. Um, very cool things will happen. Um, I'm going to select OK. Then uh, we can get rid of that. Uh, triangle up at the top, and uh, what we'll do is we'll select our lines, and we'll click on the brush we just made. And that's the the look that it gives them. And you can see the different look, um, you know, with the pen tool and the with the pencil. Um, this one's, you know, less precise, and this one's a little more precise. And now what people do is, like in the Flourish tutorial, uh, people make, you know, other little lines that might come off of the first line. And then they might draw some uh, leaves on it or something. And, the, and they use the twirl tool. If you go over to your tool palette and click on the twirl tool, if it's not the one that's on the top, you just hold down and find the twirl tool. Yeah, you can uh, twirl these ends a little bit. It's kind of an interesting thing to do. And uh, if you get something where um, it's kind of a, a bump there, what we'll do is we'll just select our pin tool and we'll hold it down and we'll do the delete anchor tool. And we'll just delete the anchor that's giving us problems. There you go. And that looks pretty cool. Um, just twirl this one a little bit. Just a little bit. And on that one, yeah, I'll go ahead and delete that anchor too. It bugs me when they're not perfect. Okay, so you can make things like that. And if you make a lot of them, that's how you get your... Um, flourishes. Um, okay, so that's one brush you can make. Um, I'm going to show you, and we'll just leave these up, and I'll uh, make a different brush. Um, the cool thing about these brushes is you can literally make any shape that you want, and the more unperfect they are, the more perfect they are, to a certain degree. I made this shape earlier today, and I kind of liked the way that it looked, but you guys might hate it. Uh, we'll see. We'll find out. Maybe. If you guys comment and subscribe and whatnot. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this. I'm just going to drag... Uh, let's make it a different color. Let's go green. And I'll show you how you can change the colors of these lines and stuff, too, um, in a second. There's, kinda, there's a couple ways you can do it. Okay, so I'm going to drag this into the brushes palette, and it'll ask me, what kind of uh, brush do you want? I'll select Art Brush. OK. And if you change the method down here, that's one way that you can change the color, is if you change it to uh, Hue Shift. I know that that'll 
make it so that you can change the colors pretty easily. And why don't we select that for this one? Hue shift. We'll select OK. And uh, we can, like I said before, we can get rid of that shape. And if you ever want that shape just by itself, you can just drag one out. You can drag out as many as you want. That's another cool thing about this. Um, see, that kind of looks cool just by itself, like within these things here. I mean, it could. Anyway, let's get back on the point. Uh, we'll select our lines. And we'll select that new brush that we made. And it makes a different interesting type of thing. And as you can see, um, since we used the other brush on them, it's holding the color there for that. But it's, it's, uh, it's also holding that color. Actually, it's more so holding that color because I selected that hue uh, shift. Because you can change the color of these now just by selecting whatever color you want. And I did that when I made the brush, if you remember. And you can use these together if you want. You can do whatever you want. Shoot, let's make another brush. and Let's just make something real random with this pencil tool. Something like that. And we'll fill it in with green, light green. And let's just drag it that in there the way that it is. Art brush. OK. And we'll select OK. And you can uh, select one of your lines and click on that. Now that looks... That one didn't work out quite, quite as well, but maybe on a smaller scale it would look better. Um, let's try a smaller line. Like that. We'll select our shape there. Yeah, that looks interesting. So you could you could uh, have all these different random kinds of shapes that maybe you could use if you were doing if you were trying to make a painting or something on you know like a a, a poster or something. If you wanted to show that somebody was painting, maybe that's what you would do or something like that. Anyway, pretty much that's you know the summary of this is that there's just all sorts of brushes that you can make and you can use all your different techniques and make a cool shape. If you see a cool shape then uh, go ahead and drag it drag it into your brushes palette and then you'll have that cool shape. You can save your brushes palette out. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, save brush library. And you can save this brush library um, you know, and then reuse it later so that you always have that shape. And that's kind of the cool thing about it. Um, okay. I hope you learned something here. Um, tell people, tell your friends, whatever. Um, and uh, subscribe to my uh, videos. And uh, thanks for watching.